Welcome back Grill Man's Garage. We've got the Femi Mini 3 here today and we've got a lot to get through today. A lot to get through. I don't want to make the video too long, but we've got a lot to cover, okay? We've just done the SAR video about Zoom. It's not that great, but it does work. It is a Zoom. It is effective in some ways, I guess, but it's not as user-friendly as you'd like. So what's next on the list? Well, we've got, we're going to do today, we're going to do in different sections. I'm going to do the chapters below and as always, read the description below because there's always more on that than what I usually get through in the video. So, we're going to go and try the fixed wing mode. These are all flight modes. Uh, fixed wing, course lock, tripod, cinematic, spiral, orbit, tap and fly, or tap fly, whatever that is. There's two more. There's waypoint and smart track. We're going to have a separate video on those. And then there's the one click videos, which is going to be something else completely. Okay. So, let's get into it right away. First off the bat is fixed wing. Let's go. Anyway, fixed mode. We're going to keep it at the one third. This is fixed wing mode, okay? So we've got 2.7K on the video. We're gonna go in fixed wing mode here, and you have to be more than uh, three, three meters per second. Anyway, let's get into this. Here we go, fixed wing. It says right there, has to be more than three meters per second, and the flight has to be higher than five meters, okay, for three seconds, so we're up there. So let's go, okay, I'm gonna take that video, there we go. Now we're going to go straight stick forward. Okay, we're up at 40 meters. Straight stick forward, and we're going to zoom to the right. See how that tilts? Now we're going to let it even out a bit. Zoom to the left. There we go. Now that's just using the stick. Okay, let go. It's just using the stick. It does kind of even out. Now we're going to do both. We're going to do the stick, and the yaw, and the pitch. There we go. Boom. And it does a big one. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do the other one, the other way, and both sticks. Boom. Okay. So there you go. So I guess you can get some good B-roll in there. Okay. So that's fixed wing. Let's get it back. And we'll go up again with another one. Stop that video. Okay, here we are. Course lock. It's a simple process. It's, it's simpler than you might think. It's just basically, you pick which way you want to go, you go that way, it stays on that way, and you can choose to pitch right or left, or yaw right or left, and you're going to stay. Say you wanted to go down a river. Go straight down the river, and you can look at each bank either side. You can focus on a point. You can follow that around. Here we go. Okay. Course lock. You read all this stuff here, and it says, I'm going to pick that direction. I can change it, but I'm going to pick that direction and go. Here we go. Okay. Start that video, 2.7. Okay. Now, I'm going to go just with the right stick. That's my speed, and I'm going to go about half, six or seven. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the left stick, yaw, over there, and just look at there, and I'm just going to keep that stick going. Remember, we were halfway in that uh, quarry. We're going to come back. That's the direction we were going. OK. We're going to go the other way. OK. And you can see that we're going now. I don't know why we've got such uh, a bad connection with the, uh, the video feed. But anyway, come back again. Here we go. And that's basically what it does. So, pretty simple. Let's return to home. Return to home. And there we go. Okay. What's up next? Tripod mode. Here we go. We're up there, ready to go. Up we go. And we hit tripod mode. And it says, the maximum speed of the drone is one meter per second and lower. Operation sensitivity simultaneously to shoot more smooth and stable video. Please fly in an open, fly in an open area, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see. Full stick, let's take a video. Full stick forward. One meter per second. Okay. How fast do we go up? Full stick up. 
One meter per second up. Okay. Full stick forward. Down. One meter per second. So everything's one meter per second, okay? Now, if I do a yaw, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Don't know why it's that fast. It shouldn't be that fast. Other way. Yeah, I can slow it down a bit, but... Yeah, I can slow it down quite a bit. We're going full stick forward and left yaw. Okay? That's not bad. Okay. That's about it for that. Let's go back. It should be less on the yaw, I think. But one meter per second, that's it in tripod mode. That's tripod mode. Stop that video. What's next? Here's cinematic mode. Cinematic mode. The brake distance will be lengthened and the angular speed of rotation will be limited to make sure the shooting videos are more stable and smooth. There you go. So we're going to... Braking distance is limited and the angular speed of rotation will be limited. Let's see what happens there. We're going to take a video and we're going to head out. Let me get into... Well, it's okay, I guess. Here we go. Full stick forward. Four, six, eight, nine. That's the max. That's what it's set at. Okay, what about my... Rotation. That's pretty fast. So I don't know anything. I don't notice any difference whatsoever. Okay. Don't know any difference. Don't notice any difference in cinematic. It's going at 7, 8, 9 meters per second, which is what we're set at. And the rotation is pretty fast. So I don't see what the differences are. Anybody? Well, there you go. Stop that video and we'll come on back. Where are we here? There's the H. Go into spiral mode. Burr, 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 burr. Spiral. Set a center point, a radius. The drone will fly around the center point, spiraling. The drone will shoot a video automatically. Please fly in an open area. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We're going to set that as the center. We're going to come out until the red turns to blue. Here we go. 30 meters. Set the radius. And max distance 44 meters. Sure. Let's just go. Clockwise, counterclockwise. There we go. It should start the video. Didn't start the video. I had to start the video. <coughs> okay. So we're doing a spiral. So watch the height, 45, 44, 43, 40, 37. Get ready to cancel if we come down too low. Fifty-nine, sixty. It's going up. Sixty-one. That's kind of a neat thing. Yeah, it's like an orbit, but it kind of goes up. So that's pretty good. I like that. 2.7k at 30. Yeah, I like that. I like the spiral. That's not too bad. Okay. There we go. And has it finished yet? Not yet. And it's finished. Okay. Thanks very much. Let's stop that video. There you go. That's spiral. What's next? Let's have a look at orbit. So this is orbit, okay? So we're going to come over the house. Okay, we're going to come down to about 45, 50 meters. There we go. Now we're going to go in here, and as we follow this around, we go orbit. Now. When setting a center point in radius, the drone will fly around that center point as a default speed. If you set a point of interest, the heading will be locked at the point of interest. Keep away from people, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. We're going to set the center. That's where we're at. OK, 
Okay. Du -du 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 -du. I don't know how you set a point of interest. But anyway, set the radius. Free or center? Okay. If I go free, I can go left and right. If I go center, we'll go center and see what happens with this. And we want to go a little bit faster, so we'll go five or six. Okay? Here we go. Start that video. And it's just going around in an orbit. That's what it does. Okay? So that's what an orbit does. It just goes around and around and around. Okay. It did say you could set a point of interest. Let's, maybe that's what this is over here. I'll have to look at that. We'll finish the circle halfway. It just goes around. It does a really good job. I really like it, okay? So we're going to stop that. Okay. And we're going to go forward. It's about halfway, okay? And we're going to try another one. Stop that video. Okay. Here we go. Orbit. Okay. We're going to set the center. Okay, set the thing radius. And we're going to go free. Let's see what the difference is. We'll go up to about there. And go. Now this is free. Which way is it going? Can I move anything? Yes, I can move this around. And I can move it up. But it's still going to go around the center point. Okay, it's still going to go around the center point. Okay, but it's looking away. And I can adjust that. Okay, see, I can adjust that. There we go. Okay, back to that. Take this video again. And as it's going around, I can adjust the left and the right. Okay. And I can look inwards if I want to. There we go. And if I use my other stick to go left or right, it doesn't do anything. So we're going to stop that orbit. This is tap and fly. Here we go. I'm going to go to here. Boom. Tap and fly. Tap the map close to the target. The drone will fly over there at a default speed at a straight line. If set point of interest, the heading will be locked at the point of interest. Okay, let's try that. And we'll go there. And we'll go tap and fly. And we'll go there. Speed at six. Okay, and do I have a point of interest? I can do the point of interest. There we are. See what happens there. So it's flying straight, and yet it's going to keep a point of interest on that house. We're hopeful. I guess this is how it's supposed to work. Okay, going straight over. I might as well take the video. There we go, video. But is it going to keep looking at it? Or is it going to lose it? It looks like it's going to lose it. Mission completed. Okay, we've got the Mini 3 from Femi. It's performed really well. I've had two or three batteries through it. It's been really good. It's really a hot day. It's almost 30 degrees Celsius. So it's, for me, it's really hot. Anyway, we've done all those things. Let me grab my little piece of paper here. Okay, so we've, we've done most of these. Okay, we did the the separate video on SAR, okay, the zoom, which we found wasn't that great. So let's go. My goodness. Okay. So let's go through this a little bit. Okay. The fixed wing. 
Uh, yeah, but I may be able to use it for B-roll, if you can just get that one or two seconds as you're going around a corner or something. But for the flight experience, I don't think you're going to get it because you can't have goggles. And it doesn't, it doesn't even out right away. You're flying along, okay, and you're bank. Oh, that's great, beautiful. But then when you come back, it, the video is still banked. It takes a long time to come back. It's not the great. And it's not the greatest at keeping that level horizon 100%. There is a fine tuning, and I looked at that this morning, and it was almost bang on, but not quite, so I might have to redo that again, okay? Course lock. It's a simple procedure. You pick which way you want to go, you go that way, and you can focus on anything as you're going by it, and have a look at it as you're going by. Great, it's great, I like that, that's a good one. Tripod mode. One meter per second, one meter per second up, one meter per second down, but the rotation is out of whack. Okay, that rotation is way too fast. Okay, uh, cinematic mode. I have no idea what cinematic mode is supposed to be. Maybe it shortens the distance or lengthens the distance in slowing down, but I didn't really notice much of anything there. Spiral is pretty unique. You know, it's it's like a corkscrew. It goes up. That's pretty good. I can see using that. I really can. It was very interesting. I like that, okay? Uh, orbit, orbit, as I've always loved orbit, okay? Always loved orbit, free and centered. You can pick where you wanna go, love that, okay? Tap and fly, pick your spot you wanna go and you can put, up, put a point of interest way out, but don't pick that point of interest like I did too close to your path because it's gonna not recognize the shape after a while, okay? So you're gonna lose it in that. But the idea is there. Okay, so they're fun things. Are they something you'd use all the time? Probably not. I'll probably use spiral a bit, orbit quite a bit, um, course lock. I like course lock, yep, yep. Fixed wing, eh, not so much. Tripod, uh, a little too slow, I think. Okay, cinematic, I should be able to get it down to about like two and a half, three meters per second, but uh, no, cinematic, I didn't notice any difference. Spiral, yes, I like that. Orbit, yes, I like that. A tap and fly, yes, I can see, I can see that. Okay, I can see using that. Tap and fly and uh, course lock are pretty similar, okay? Because you can pick a point which is gonna go in that direction, okay? It's almost like having waypoints. Uh, now, waypoints is a whole other issue, okay? And that would take a, a few videos. And I have some videos on the X8 Mini and waypoints and the X8 SE 2022 and waypoints. It's a great feature. It's a great program that Femi has with it. Has a few glitches. If you remember the red circle of death, yeah, it's still got that one kilometer. That's it. But anyway, it's got some great features. You can make them offline, save them, history, all that kind of stuff. It's got some good stuff, okay? And then Smart Track. Smart Track, I don't use that much. You've got your GPS, your lock, your uh, follow, your trace, all that kind of stuff. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So that was it. All the flight modes wrapped up into one. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the bell. If you feel like, buy me a coffee. Well, maybe nice coffee today, okay? Take care till next time. Bye now.